You do what you want to do, okay? You're not a prisoner here. You're your free range friend. Free range friend. Very good. <laughs> Have fun free ranging. Good evening, survivors, and welcome back to Miss Survival. We're picking up just about where we left off here after the end of the last episode at the motel base in the city with Bobby the Redneck Therapy Chicken who is currently on patrol. We're, we're doing a change of the guard here. All right, um, Bobby, I'm going to leave you here. Actually, I'm going to go to bed, okay? You're on patrol. Oh, gosh, hold up. Alarm, alarm, right. <laughs> where you going? Hey, get back here, you chicken. <laughs> Living up to his name, isn't he? He's running away. We have some riffraff outside the wall, but that's okay. We build the best walls. They're not getting in here. Keeps all the riffraff out. And, in fact, we're going to make the riffraff pay for it, right? That's right. All right, come on, Bobby. Let's get inside our secure fallback point over here. Yeah, the riffraff can't get in here. There we go. Close that door, and we are 100% safe back here. Oh, guy's got his eye out. Hello? Get your gun on here. This is my property. Oh, I got him. I got him through the grating. Did you see that? That was pretty epic. I didn't know we could, we could hit them through this thing. So that's good to know. It was one shot with the axe. Holy smokes. There's a dude over there, though. I don't want to jump down there and get that. Was there any loot? Oh, he dropped it inside. How convenient. A carrot and a bottle of water. Actually, that bottle of water's. Oh, it's empty. Oh, dang it. I was going to say, we really need water. We are so short on water. Uh, we do have this water barrel, but it's empty. In fact, today, one of the things we were going to do today, one of the priorities was to get a, um, to get a purifier going. This guy right here, a DIY water purifier. I'm going to make that. I'm going to make that right now, in fact. I wanted to do it before going to bed because it takes a while. Oh, there they are at the gates again. They can't get in, so I'm not worried about it. Wait, you did close the gate, right, Bobby? I think the gate's closed. Yeah. All right, I think we're good. Let's go ahead and do this right now before we go to bed. That way we'll have more time in the morning to focus on other more better important stuff and fun stuff. So let's put it right next to the uh, barrel and does not require any special tools. Nope, just a wrench. And we'll whack away with the wrench. And there we go. We got our DIY water purifier. We do need, um, well, I have a bucket. We just don't have any water. Right, so we're going to have to go get some water and then we can uh, purify the water and dump it in our water barrel because we are down to this right here. 0.24 liters. That is all we have left as far as the water goes. Don't have anything else to drink. Ah, okay, we have 0.1 liter here. <laughs> Let's go ahead and drink that right now. Nope, that's actually empty. Can't even get that little drop out. So we're going to need these empty bottles to fill up later. So we'll put them there by the, by the, uh, by the shack. Are they coming down this way? I want to whack them through the fence. Nah, that's too bad. Now, before we go to bed, there's one more thing I want to make, and that is a campfire. I'm going to put it right out front. This is a redneck Weber. A redneck Weber, right? This is just sticks and stones, and that's it. And we can't really do anything with this other than get a fire started, but I do want to put a grill on top of it, and then we can do some cooking. But we need two more. We need two more metal scrap. We're all out of metal scrap, too. Dang it. We don't have anything. We're going to have to go out and do some uh, some scavenging today. Here's what we can do. We can break down one of these guns. We have so many of them. Let's just break this one down right here. It's going to give us two metal scrap and one component. So there was an update since the last episode um, to the game. And we are now able to break down campers and tractors. So I think we're going to go... Yeah, tractors at the farm, buddy. We're going to go to the farm and break some, some um, tractors down. And I think we can go to the suburbs and break down the, um, the campers. All right, let's do it. Put that down there. And whack away. Oh, we need a hammer. All right, well, let's check the tool bag. Popsy tool bag. There we go. And hammer away. This doesn't take very long. What, 15 minutes? Is that what it said? All right, there we go. We got our grill. Now all we need is some food. <laughs> and then we'll be, uh, we'll be cooking with class. And gas. Finally. But we're going to have to go do some hunting and get some meat for that. Oh, there's a guy right here. Can we get him through the thing? No, he's got to stick his, his face through the through the fence. Okay. Hey, over here, buddy. Oh, I got him. Holy cow. Now, is this doing damage to our axe, I wonder? It's 87.2. Let's see. Oh, it is. Yeah, all right. Well, may not be worth it. 
depending on what these guys draw. Oh, here comes another one. Oh, jeez. I thought he was going to get us. Got him, too. <laughs> oh, we got that one, too. Holy cow. This thing wrecks them. Who knew? This is probably the best weapon in the game right now, then. Let's go down and check the buddies. What do we got? Oh, that guy had a little bit of water. Fortunately, we need that. I don't really need the broccoli, but we'll take it. Shotgun shell, and I see a gun down there. Can we grab that gun? Ah, I can't quite get the gun. We Oh, there we go. We got it now. Okay. All right, back over. It's a good thing they can't climb. This would not be a very secure location otherwise. <laughs> So let's uh, let's get to bed. I'm gonna drink this right here. Drink a little before bed, and I think we have a whole we have a lot of food. Where's our food at? And we got a ton of food. Look at all this meat, cans and cans for days. But we really got to get some uh, some water production going, and I'll just drink the rest of that too. We're gonna dehydrate through the night anyway. All right, another empty water bottle. But when you finally get some water production, and we'll stop at the lake at the at the farm too, because there's uh we can fill up our bucket there. All right, I'm gonna climb into bed. We'll see you guys in the morning. So good night. Eight hours of sleep tonight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm a Bobby. I'm awake. What are you doing in my bed? <laughs> you get all cozy and cuddled up in the middle of the night, huh? Get outside, you stinker. All right, let's go. Let's go. Um, we don't really need anything, do we? Nah, we're good. We got plenty of inventory space, and that's what we want mostly for this loot job. And I think we will bring Bobby with us today. Bobby seems like he's uh, he's getting a little stir crazy here in the city, so I'm gonna bring him to the country. We'll go visit the old farm and all your friends at the farm. Okay, you good up there? I think he's fine right there. I hope so, anyway. <laughs> we'll find out. <laughs> All right, hang on, Bobby. Uh, Bobby, can you get the gate, please? Uh, I guess I'll get the gate. This is my first time using the gate, I think. Let's make sure it's clear. I didn't happen to notice any randoms wandering around. Oh, look, we're looking good. Yeah, we really need, like, an automatic door opener. That would be pretty awesome. You squeeze through? Sure. Sweet. All right. Let's close those gates. We don't want to come home to a surprise. Got the riffraff inside. There we go. All right, Bobby. Let's do it. To the country we go. Whoa, watch out. <laughs> All right, so we're going to the suburbs, right? That'll be the first stop. Although, you know what? Maybe today we can free a prisoner. Yeah, I think we might want to get either Kate, Scott, or Rachel to help us out. I'm thinking maybe Scott. He might be the easiest one to get first. He's at a small camp close to the farm. There's no sniper tower over there. Whoa! Sniper shooting! Hold on, Bobby. Keep your head down. Holy cow! He's still shooting. Wow. Okay, here is the burbs right here. And we're going to go break up a camper. Pretty sure there's some campers over here. And that's new. This is uh, something that was added in the last update. Campers and tractors. Look at this car. It's been flipped upside down. Pretty cool. All right, you stay right there, pal. I'm going to go uh, whack a do whack a mole. How about we grab this nice brown um, suitcase? These are good. Can we fit that in there without disturbing Bobby? I think so. Okay. All right, let's give it a try. I'm gonna leave that engine running. It's a little loud and annoying, but just in case somebody shows up and get out of here fast. There we go, breaking it down, check it out. And apparently the uh, the stamina use with every swing of your ax has been reduced significantly, which is fantastic. So now we can swing away all day without getting too tired. Yeah, that's not bad. What is this, like a, maybe a dozen wax? Look at all the goodies. Oh, tire? Did that tire come out of the camper, or was that already there on the ground? I don't know. But we got a bunch of components and a bunch of metal scrap. Pretty good. How about this car? We can break this car down, too. We might as well just clear the roads, right? How are we doing for water? Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. Yeah. Um, this, this is it right here. Let's just drink enough. 
All right, yeah, we need to go get water. We're, we're all done. That's it. We're out of drinkables. Oh, here's the water right here. Let's grab that bucket. Probably should have made a couple of buckets. One is probably not going to be enough, but what are you going to do? Let's go save Scott. Yeah. Let's go get our buddy Scott. He's down by the farm. And we'll let, uh, we'll let Bobby hang out with his old buddies. While we go save Scott, we'll have somebody back at the uh, motel base to give us a hand with the crafting. All right, here we go. Got a four-wheel drive. There should be no problem. Bobby is still there. Okay, good. Down we go. Hold on. All right, here's the farm where we found Bobby. Bobby, you want to get out and hang out with your buddies? We'll come back for you a little while. What do you think? Want to go play? All right, come on. Come on down. Come here. We're going to go do something dangerous, so we're going to leave you here with your friends. Go play. We'll be right back, okay? Hopefully. If we don't come back, we'll have a nice life, okay? Just be free and have fun. And we'll see you in the next life, maybe. Yeah, this is a dangerous job. It's not for chickens. So we're going to leave Bobby back here, let him play with his buddies. And we are going to go free the Scott Man. Here's another uh, camper. I wonder how many campers there are around. Let's break it down. Might as well while we're here, right? That's what we came for. Huzzah! Fantastic. Grab all the goodies. Alright, let's dump this stuff out. And then we'll go save Scott once and for all. And how are we doing for thirst? Yeah, boy. Oh, you know what? I think we have a soda, actually. Hold on. I think I stocked up. Oh, we have a soda right here. Oh, goody, goody, goody. Okay. But that is the end of it, isn't it? Alright, well, that'll uh, get us, hold us over until we're able to make some water. I hope. So the camp is right here. And we don't have a bow, so we're not going to be able to do this quietly. We're just going to have to go in all guns and blazing. What is that? Is this new? Oh, that's the old motel. Okay, I thought that was a tent of some kind. I'm like, oh, this is new. No, it's not. All right, we're going to kill the engine here. All right, let's lock and load and get this party started. What do we have here for ammo? Two rounds in the Glock. 23 rounds in the M4. And we have 16 shotgun shells. So, not very good. <laughs> we don't want to get into a prolonged gunfight. Because we just don't have enough ammunition. We are going to need our crowbar to open up the locked room where they are keeping Scott captive. I hope that's enough crowbar to get in. Down to 29%. Probably should have made a new one. Oh well. I don't even know if we can make a crowbar until we get into maybe metallurgy. So I think we might have to use our knife and our axe here. Going to have to do some quiet wet work if possible. There's a dude right there. Alright. Let's see if we can get in close and take him out quietly with the knife. Just gotta get behind him. Oh gosh, he's looking right at us. Alright, let's see if we can swing around this way. Don't want to get too far from the camp, otherwise they despawn. But we don't want to get too close either, because he'll spot us. Alright, so far so good. He's not... Oh, 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 oh! He, he sees something. Oh, there's another guy behind him. Okay, still says squirrels here. Make a noise like a squirrel. What's a squirrel? What does a squirrel do? I don't know what a squirrel does. Oh, that other guy sees us way over there. Holy cow. All right, he's gone now. Watch the left flank. I don't think there's a door in the back. Is there? I think there's just a big opening in the front. But we can climb up over the fence over here. I know there's like a lower area. And a dumpster we can climb up on. But we got this guy. As long as he doesn't hear us. Looks like he is very focused on that dirt road leading down to the farm. Oh, we got him. We got this guy. <laughs> Good night. All right, one down. Whoa. Oh, boy. That guy didn't see a thing. <laughs> he didn't see anything. What do we got here? A carrot. Dang you. And a stone. Hmm. I wish we could throw stones to distract. That would be pretty awesome. All right, one down. Oh. Oh. Wow, there's a ton of them in there. I think they probably got tipped off. They knew we were coming. One, two, three, four. There's at least four. But this guy we can probably take quietly and alone. 
Let's see. I, I, he might hear us when we jump over, though. Oh, hold on. Wait for that guy. He's looking over in this direction. Where'd he go? There he is. I think he makes his rounds. He goes around, right? Yeah, here he comes. Okay, we want to learn their patterns. And then once we know the pattern, we can strike. Oh, okay, there is no pattern. <laughs> it doesn't look like there is any pattern. They're just wandering around all willy-nilly. All right, over we go. Well, that was super loud. That was way too loud. Did they hear us? No. If that guy comes back over here, we can take him out. Wait right here. See if they come around the back. You gotta be patient for this kind of work. Hopefully that mist doesn't roll in. Oh, I hear footsteps. Oh gosh. There you go. Huh? Make a squirrel sound, quick. He's gone. Go, 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 go. Don't run. Whatever you do, don't run. Oh, soda. Got him! Hide the body! I don't think we can hide the body. That's too bad. Oh, yeah. We got a 9mm round. Okay, that gives us three. <laughs> we have three bullets now. Awesome. What is this? A saw. Uh-oh. Hold up. Hold up. Oh, gosh. They found the body. That's not good. All right. That's it. Gun's blazing. Get the shotgun out. It's go time, baby. Or is it? I don't know. I don't hear anybody running around. Can we look through the window here? Oh yeah, we can look right through. Oh, there's a uh, there's a backpack in there, by the way. See it? Oh, here's a guy coming. Okay, let's see. It looks like they uh, they did not see the body, or maybe the body doesn't set off any kind of trigger. No, apparently not. Apparently not. All right, let's go back into our other position over here. Yeah. We'll wait right here for that guy. Okay. Yeah, wait right here. It's a better spot to hide. Oh! Okay. He's coming this way now. Okay, great. If he keeps walking, he's gonna keep walking. Gonna keep walking. Yes! Three down! <laughs> and two to go. And gunpowder. That's real nice. Real nice. Alright, maybe the last two we can just shoot. Two left, and I think one of them doesn't even move. Yeah, there's one guy that just kind of hangs out there, stands at attention, looking out toward the woods. This guy seems to just walk back and forth across the front opening. So I think maybe we're just going to shoot these two. It's probably the best thing to do. I don't know if we can get in close. Psst, Scott! Scott, you in there? Hang tight, buddy. We're here to rescue you. Don't do anything stupid, okay? <laughs> I hope he's in there. <laughs> All right, we're just going to shoot these fools. Got them right there, close together. And three, two, one. One down. Two down. Easy peasy. Is that it? I think that's everybody. Nobody inside? Nobody inside. Down to 19 rounds. Not too shabby, huh? Got him with the knife. Oh, there we go. Got a few bulletses. And an apple. Maybe that'll hydrate a little. All right, let's go get Scott. Let's go save Scott. I'm going to get the shotgun out just in case we're not alone. But I think... I think we got them all. All right, let's grab that backpack first. Backpack upgrade. Fantastic. And now we are going to unlock this door. We use the crowbar, rather. Five minutes. All right, hold on, Scott. We're coming. And stand back. Boom. Oh, you're not Scott. Hi! Is this Rachel? Rachel! Oh, it's so good to see you. We thought Scott was going to be here. I guess the prisoners are uh, randomly assigned to all the bases, I guess. That's pretty cool. All right, well, we were expecting Scott, but we're happy with Rachel. All right, Rach, I'm going to untie you now, okay? We're in the city now, all right? It's at the motel. So head on back, and we'll, we'll, we'll meet you there. Rachel has been rescued. Will you take her to camp and join your crew? Yes, we will. Of course we will. She is gun trained, sniper, and close combat trained. She's a nurse. Nurse Rachel. All right, there she goes. Oh, gosh. We are thirsty. Drink that soda. Thank goodness we found that extra soda. We've got to get this bucket of water back and get it all putrefied. 
So, all right, that'll hold us over for a little while. And let's uh, let's loot the place before those guys come back. Oh, a SWAT helmet. Oh, we already have one, but that one is in much better shape. There we go. Grab the batteries. And, oh, gear. Very nice. And what else we have? Do we have any water around? Oh, we got some ammunition. Rifle ammo. Booze. Extra bandage. That's good, because we don't have any way to make those right now. Close that door. Got some drugs over here. Some more 9mm ammo. Put those in the old Glock. I can't grab those antibiotics. There we go. Oh, can I grab that M4? Yeah. Can't grab that meat can down there. That's a fakie. It's fakie. Oh, gosh. We got a locked cabinet here. Um, I'm debating on using our crowbar. How much left do we have? Maybe only one more use left. Should we use it now? Might be some really good stuff inside. But then we'll have to get another crowbar to, um, to free the rest of the prisoners. All right, let's do it. 10 minutes. Let's see what's in here. Hopefully there's a lot of ammunition. And uh, not a lot of ammunition. Extra shotgun. Okay. Not sure if that was worth it. Yeah, we have one more use at that crowbar, looks like. Alright, no more reinforcements showed up. Nope. Alright, let's get out of here. Actually, let's just search around the outside first. I did check these bod days. Yeah, nothing. Oh, here we go. Alright, let's head back. Let's go get Bobby. And then we'll head back home and get some water purified. And we'll check in on Rachel. See if she's uh, she's settled in nicely. Alright, back at the vehicle. And I'm going to go ahead and dump out some of this. I don't even need to. Don't even need to. Close the gate. Let's go get Bobby. Hop in. I'm driving. I hope he's still here. Is that Bobby right there? Right where we left him. Bobby? Er, let's see. Bobby, is that you? Yes, yeah, Bobby. <laughs> the wild chickens run away from us, so that's how we can tell. All right, Bobby, we're back. We made it. We saved Rachel. Yeah, Rachel. You remember her? You and Rachel. Bobby likes Rachel. She's a nice girl. All right, hold on, Bobby. Heading back to the city, buddy. Whoa. I want to hit Bobby's friend there. All right, we're back on the asphalt. That's good. And we are going to make a straight shot for the city. And uh, hopefully we get back there before nighttime. I hate driving in the dark in this game because the headlights are horrible. Hold on, Bobby. I'm not stopping for anything. All right, this is it. Driving past the bandit camp with the sniper. Got to step on that gas. Oh, they're taking shots. Hold on, Bobby. I'm out of control. Bobby's still there? He's still there, and they're still shooting at us. Holy cow. All right, step on the gas, dude. Whew. Made it. Still have two liters of gas, and I hope the engine parts are okay. <laughs> All right, here we are. Back in the city. Plenty of daylight to spare. All right, I get the gates. And hopefully Rachel's here somewhere. And we go. All right, kill the engine. Out we go. We get those gates before I get Bobby down. Whew, perfect timing. What time is it anyway? Ah, oh, it's still pretty early. It's only like four o'clock. All that we accomplished today and it's still only four o'clock. All right, Bobby, you can go play. I'm gonna go find Rachel. Tell her we made it. Rach? Rachel? Where is she? Oh no, is she here? Hey, this is our base, right? Oh, yeah, there she is. Okay. She's definitely here somewhere. There's no room for her because it's such a tiny little base. I don't see her, though. She must be wandering around somewhere. Maybe she's in one of the hotel rooms? Rach? Rachel, are you here? I don't see her. This is not good. Maybe she's outside the fence over here. Somewhere closer to the redneck shack. Oh, there she is. <laughs> Rachel, you're on the wrong side of the wall. Come on inside where it's safe. Randa's hang out out here. Rach? Hi. Hey. Hey. Hey back. Um, you really should come inside where it's safer. 
I'm gonna give her a gun. Give her a... Oh, give her the M4. And I don't think you need to give them any ammo, right? I think she's just got unlimited amounts of ammo. So there you go. Arm yourself, at the very least, if you're gonna hang out here. Yeah, the problem is the shack is too close to this wall. So she's just gonna kind of wander around in, a, my guess is, a, a radius around it. So we might have to move the shack into the center of the motel yard. Which means we're gonna have to make a new one. I don't think we could just pick this one up and move it. All right, Rach. I hope you're uh, you're okay out here. I mean, maybe she wants to do a perimeter walk. That's fine. Whatever. I'm not gonna complain. You do what you want to do, okay? You're not a prisoner here. You're your free range friend. Free range friend. Very good. <laughs> have fun free ranging. We gotta get our water going. So we have the nasty bucket here, and we're gonna dump it all in. And then, oh wait, what happened? Oh, okay, all of it, like that, boom. And now we need to put some bark in and some firewood. Oop. And we have all that. Oh, Rach, you want to chop up some wood? Maybe we can have Rachel come in over here and chop up some wood for us. That'll give her something to do. Yeah, let's do 10 wood, and we are going to assign Rachel to this job, and she'll come inside and chop into wood, hopefully. Let's see if she can do that, if she can find her way in. Oh no, maybe she can't. Because all the doors are closed. <laughs> yeah, I have a feeling we're going to have to move that shack. There she is. She doesn't seem like she's in a hurry to get over there to chop wood, does she? Rage, you're going to come chop that wood? It's too bad she can't climb the fence. Alright, never mind. You know what? You are a permanent guard. From now oh! She... D what? How did you do that? I think she jumped the fence. Good. Okay, now I can go close that gate. <laughs> Alright, well that's great. I'm glad that works. We don't have to worry about opening and closing gates to get her inside when we call her in to do some work. She's gonna chop some wood over there. Oh, you done? Good work. Thanks, Rachel. Really appreciate it. Look at all that lovely firewood. I'm gonna grab eight of it. And grab some bark. You can go out and play with the chicken if you like. Use the therapy chicken, you know, if you need therapy after that captivity. Alright, we're gonna grab some matches, we got the bark, we got the firewood. I think that's everything we need to get this thing cranked up. Yeah, there we go. Distill! Beautiful. Alright, and now we wait. It's gonna take some time, we have one soda left over. In fact, we're gonna go ahead and eat some meat and drink our last soda. Hopefully, that distillation process will be done, like, soon. In fact, let's grab a water bottle, and let's give it a try while it's distilling. Hopefully, this doesn't mess anything up. I better save it just in case. You never can tell with these early access games, right? All right, saved, and now we're going to take what's in there. Fill up that bottle. Well, it's not very much, but it's better than nothing. At least now we know. We can pull some out and drink if we need to. All right, I think we're going to call it quits right here for now, folks. Hope you enjoyed, and we will see you in the next episode. I am going to go ahead and get all organized. We're going to carry this thing right inside. Ugh, heavy. All that metal. Scrap, so forth. And I'm going to get ready for the next episode. Oh, excuse us. Sorry. Sorry, coming through. So, yeah, with that, we'll call it quits. We'll see you guys next time. Have a good day. Bye-bye.